Welcome once again to the JMB Show. I'm your host, Jimmy Artiseros. Holy shit, balls of fire, people. Uh, Ryan is off today. He is, um, well, he's recovering from that tragic uh, anal stretching with uh, Wendy's Vaselinated, Vaselinated head. What? Um, he's in recovery. He'll be fine. He's a nurse. He's just going to stitch up his own butthole. <laughs> It's magic. He's magic with his hands, this guy. Anyway, oh, people. Hey, I want to add to the list of things that I am now, according to uh, guys like John Kerry and Al Gore, because we all know how smart those fucking tards are. Um, I am now going to add digital terrorists. To my list of um, things that the left hates. Um, so, so far I got, I'm a Trump supporter. They hate that. I'm a Christian. They hate that. I have no filter and I say what the fuck I want. They hate that. And now, and always, my favorite topic always on this show, global warming. Is in the news because these old dinosaurs keep thinking that's uh, that's what our demise is going to be. Uh, Joe Biden, in fact, today had a little summit, little speech, little summit, uh, climate summit. You know, the most useful thing that people spend money to gather around and listen to hours of fucking bullshit and nonsense about we're all going to die soon if we don't take care of the emission problem. <laughs> People, I'm going to reiterate to you one more time. If you're worried about global warming, then you're fucking worse off than anybody because that means you're just fucking retarded. Okay, global warming. As a digital terrorist now, I'm going to say uh, that it's all bullshit, man, because John Kerry, and I'll reiterate this shit again in 2006, Said we had five years. Al Gore, I believe, in like 2010, said we had 10 years. One time, <laughs> one time, oh, Leonard Nimoy back in the 80s did a whole show to freak us out. Uh, and uh, thank you, Jim Brewer. Stole this from Jim. But um, another famous Jim. Yeah. <laughs> he Leonard Nimoy said we're going to have an ice age in like fucking 10 years. And this is back in the eighties. Um, yeah. Still waiting. Still waiting on that one Spock. <laughs> we're still living long and prospering you dick. Well, we're not really prospering anymore because boy, are things fucked up. It's fucked up beyond almost repair. Shall I dance around that word repair? Hopefully Trump. Trump's uh, speaking right now as we speak uh, to, on the Hannity show. Town hall meeting with Sean Hannity. You should check it out. I'm going to check it out as soon as I get off this show. Because when Trump speaks, we should all fucking listen. Um, anyway, so that'll be exciting to see what he has to say. Because our president, Joe Biden, sliding Biden, he, uh, yeah, he went to the summit today and said that still at this point in time, now listen, folks, at this point in time in our nation, our livelihood, our wellness with wars everywhere, pop, 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 fucking the whole Middle East wants fucking not, they, they are so itching the full triggers, man. Joe Biden's concern still. Is global warming. Are you fucking stupid? So, biggest threat, really. Hmm. I don't know. I never walked outside and got shot by the sun, Joe. Or raped uh, no. by a gang of militia. By the cold day it was outside. Um, none of my kids or grandkids ever died from uh, exposure to air. You freak. So, 
And man, you still got people. It's the global warming, you know, because the sun is getting closer. It's going to burn our hair. It's going to singe it. Uh, are still fucking chant, burk, 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 burk. You know, give it up. Just stop. If you think about it, look at you're looking at a your leader right now with all this shit going on with fucking terrorists coming over the border in buses, literally fucking buses from everywhere in the fucking nation or the world. And his whole concern is, well, we got to make sure we get the EV cars, you know, get all them stations built. Two years. What was it? Billions of dollars. I forget the exact number. Billions of dollars, two years. And he is uh, not accomplished dick other than frustrated fucking <laughs> dumbasses who bought those cars. There's no stations to charge them at. They don't work. EV, suck a dick. Because it's not working. And people don't even want them. So the whole EV thing and no more fossil fuel. Fossil fuel fucking kicks ass. Fossil fuels work great. It's cheap. Everybody flourishes. Let's go get us some coal, man. We don't have to do it like the fucking 20s, 30s, and 40s where we're getting black lung and dying. We got fucking shit for that now. But let's stay with our natural resources. How about that big fucking idea? I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Urgh. It's worked till now. Um, speaking of people coming over in buses. Okay, so today, uh, the new, um, I saw this at like 6 in the morning, and I was just getting up to be, I don't wake up at 6 in the morning, people. That's a farce. And early rising people just bug me. Anyway, um, and I had my TV on. And it was on Fox News, and they were uh, at the border. And there's hundreds and hundreds well dressed Chinamen, you know, well dressed Chinamen, um, are uh, all in line. When I say well dressed, no, they're not wearing fucking suits, but they did not just fucking swim the Rio Grande or fucking jump some fucking fields and fences and shit and fight off a fucking kakabura no they're just fucking nikes fucking jeans got the polo shirt hair with the fucking part fucking fade all that shit lined up pretending they don't speak fucking english <laughs> oh this is all happening people fucking fact check me Google, don't Google it. Who knows if we can fucking trust Google anymore? We, you know, it's coming down to, you know, there's only a small portion of us, small portion of us, uh, that you can, um, believe in and trust because you're not going to get it from, uh, all the left winged democratic stations, podcasters, fucking influence, anybody on that side of the fence basically the fucking enemy right now and i'm gonna say it they're the fucking enemy of the state um you got congress people uh the squad still yapping anti-semiticism are you fucking kidding me here's the thing there's a lot of things i didn't think i was gonna live to see um you know i some of the shit i'm like no fucking way i'm gonna be of age to see that uh, or live to see that, um, you know, open, freely smoking marijuana. Fuck, when I was in high school, I was like, no fucking way that's going to happen. Now, you got a fucking dispensary on every corner here in Cali, in most places, and it's getting legalized. And I'm all for uh, for that, the legalization of marijuana, because alcohol's been legal for centuries now, and it's killed more than weed will ever even come close to killing the only people get killed. The only people that died uh, with marijuana were the ones trying to steal it when it was illegal off of people's properties. Those people, yeah, they got shot and buried up in the hills somewhere in Humboldt County. That's what happens. But once it got legalized, guess what? It took the threat of that away because they can't buy sell on the street. What the fuck for? You just go down the street and buy it cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. I tell you. So anyway, good for them. Um, but so the Chinese are here 
and pretending they don't. Now, we just busted a lab in California a couple weeks ago that had variants of different diseases. It was a Chinese-run lab in California. And, of course, Gavin Newsom loves him some China. He loves him some China dick. Because he's been sucking the shit out of uh, Zing Chi Wee's dick, little pecker, for fucking uh, quite some time now. Because he invited all the Chinese over. Um, it's going to be a new state of California, he says. Chinese Chinese California. So, <laughs> good luck with that. I'm trying, trying to get my family the fuck out um, before this gets too bad. Um Cause it's going to get bad folks, uh, especially these, uh, border town States. Um, you know, I, I love the Texas governor. Uh, he's that guy he just fights. He fights. He put up his own shit to block out the fucking, um, migrants. So we got that shit happening throughout the world. You know, every day I try to find something positive and it's hard. Um, it's really hard to top off the climate change thing. And this will be enough of ridiculousness. Um, Hillary, she's always popping her evil little fucking head up with her big old helmet head. Anyway, Hillary t said yesterday that um, last year alone, 500,000 people died of global warming. Huh? So Tommy Lauren on X, uh, she said, let's see if we can blow this stupid non-fact uh, back up Hillary's asshole. Um, that's where Bill lives. <laughs> Bill, Bill's like, hey, hello, I'm up here in Hillary's butt. Um, so... Uh, like she said, like Tommy Lauren said, was the question is, do you know anybody who died last year of global warming? Anybody? Friend, family member? No? Cousin? Cousin Billy? Cousin Billy's brother, Bobby? Bobby baby Bobby Billy? <laughs> no, you haven't, because it didn't happen. I swear I've never seen a group of idiots falsify numbers like the Democratic Party does. Gavin Newsom the other night on his uh, fucking... That was great, by the way. If you didn't see that debate between uh, DeSantis and Newsom, um, it was awesome. DeSantis kicked the shit out of Gavin. Gavin can't answer a question to save his life. Gavin cannot answer a fucking question to save his life, and he never will because he's a fucking liar. He's a crook. He's a liar. He's a slick willy, and he knows it, and he's just waiting till, because he knows he can't beat Trump. Um, people keep saying, oh, he's he's going to, you know, pop in there. He's I don't think he's going to pop in there because he knows he can't beat Trump, and he knows he doesn't have a good blueprint of shit. So he's going to get the Chinese in, and he's going to fucking try to bolster his shit for four years while Trump makes America great again which I'm excited about. And then uh, he's going to run. That is my thought speculation. Billy Whopper. Um, makes more sense because he can't beat Trump. Uh, nobody's going to beat Trump. Um, these, uh, everybody, you know, it's nice. Show up to the debate. You know, hey, you're running for VP, people. You're running for VP. I like, uh, I do like Nikki Haley. Um, she's pretty good on foreign affairs and I, I like Ronnie, you know, I, I wouldn't mind living in, I wish he didn't govern Florida because that place, I even looked at properties for shits and giggles and there's some nice, there's no country in Florida. Um, so their country is, you're going to find some swampy land, <laughs> a little snaky, a little gatorish down there, you know, you, not a friendly place place for pets really uh the house i looked and found was literally right on some big fucking water canal it was the backyard and i'm like yep no swimming in that motherfucker <laughs> fishing's good no swimming yeah it's not like i could bring the grandkids down there and go jump in here's a floaty yeah 
bobber more, more like there she goes she's not coming up yeah um anyway i lost track but yeah florida wildlife uh, but desantis he uh he's a good dude he's a good dude so uh he's never gonna be vp trump's not big on either one of them uh rfk jr i dig the guy i don't know if him and trump can work together though but um chris christie just forget about it he was all bragging today he lost 90 pounds since the last time he ran <laughs> where from your belly to your ass fat boy anyway uh you're not gonna win either there go get some crispy crispy creams you can be a spokesperson for crispy creams hi i'm presidential candidate chris christie and this is crispy creams you know <laughs> no i think it would work oh man it's all fbi director christopher ray up there today just um lying epstein back epstein's back back again can't I can't get enough of this because nobody's ever going to fucking answer it. Nobody's ever going to see the logs. The only logs we're going to see are in the toilet. Big lumpy logs. Stinky logs. A lot of word on logs. <laughs> no. Um, so they're trying to subpoena the flight log. And this shit butthead dick whacker congressman's like i don't know enough all of a sudden he knows nothing about it no one's told me about this i haven't really uh, known much about this case shut the fuck up really the biggest fucking he's like i know of jeffrey epstein but i don't you know not looking into it really no one's ever sent me anything so he goes into the little fucking forum and then gets blasted because the lady who's been trying to fucking get him to sign all he's got to do is sign it grab your pen here Goes, subpoena, boom. You're all fucked. You know why he doesn't want to sign the document? Because he's on the log. Bam. He's on the log. Huh. Yep. He's on the motherfucking log. He is. He'll probably just fucking just <laughs> resign tomorrow. I can't handle the pressure. It's coming down on me. And he was trying to motion to the lady who he's like, how about me and you after this privately? We discuss it. Yeah, yeah, we know why you want to discuss it. And you're like, hey, listen, he's going to bribe her to just let it go. But I can't wait. I want to see who's on the logs. I kind of know a little bit here and there. Some leaked, you know, but uh, yeah, you're never going to look at old Forrest Gump again, are you? <laughs> I love it. I fucking love when people get exposed for their fucking evil deeds. It's good. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, especially when children are involved. They ain't all fucking burning hell. Not the children, people. Here's a fun fact. Breaking news. Uh, Joe Biden said today, literally, and this is where, okay, folks, listen to me carefully. This is when you know it's collusion. This is when you know it's an agenda against a person, a man, not for what he can do for our country, which is awesomeness, but it's just per persecuting a man just because you don't like him. Because Joe said today, if Trump wasn't running, he wouldn't even be running. And he added, we can't let him win. Hmm. So... In those two statements tells me Joe wasn't going to run again. Um, but they hate Trump so fucking badly that they pushed his ass out there because they figured enough people like him and they're brainwashed by that whole fucking Bidenomic system bullshit, you know, global warming. All those people might jump on board, but he lost the African American vote, he lost the Hispanic vote. Because of all this bullshit. He ruined Chicago. Chicago just had a fucking town meeting and said, fuck Joe Biden. We're taking our city back in any way we know how. So Chicago's about to explode in some, we taking our city back. And this, I think that's the way it should happen. 
I'm not trying to incite any fucking, you know, civil war riots or anything like that. But, you know, if you're getting overrun by crime and no, and our government at this time under Biden isn't doing shit about it, it's going to come to a point where the people are going to have to do some shit about it. Okay. Nobody likes getting robbed, raped, burglared, shot, killed. None of that. But if there's no funding for the police and there's no fucking regard for lawlessness and nobody gets in trouble for fucking shit up, then it's going to get worse. And you're going to have to defend yourself. Depending on the size of the problem, size of uh, the amount you'll need to defend yourself. Listen, people, it's going to get hairy. It's getting hairy. There is. So speaking of FBI Director Ray, he also said, besides um, avoiding questions, was that uh, he this is the highest level of threat. Highest level of threat to the U.S. from within we've ever had. Folks, I'll break that down in layman's terms. There are so many evil fucking migrants that came across that are terrorists. Okay? Hundreds of thousands have come across. Probably in the millions. Now. They're here for one directive. They're here to take control of the U.S. All that shit you see, and you're, oh, that happens in a third world country. It wouldn't happen here. This is USA. Uh, well, they're all here. They're spreading out. And they're waiting for the word from fucking Allah, or whoever they fucking retarded person they pray to that doesn't exist. Okay? There's one God. And it ain't him. It ain't Allah. Baba. Baloo. Anyway, they're here and they're ready to fuck shit up in your own backyard. And I would never lie to you. I, I love all my fans. Anybody who watches this show, listen, I do this show strictly to show you what the truth is. Let you know what's really going on out there. Okay. Um. And nobody wants to be engulfed in, in news all day and, and research and all this. It Trust me, it is taxing on my brain to see shitty shit every fucking day I, I turn on the TV. Every time I read anything, do research, it's just every day. Today was a horrible day. Horrible day. Um, found out that uh, not only the women prisoners um, in Gaza... Uh, from the ages of grandmothers to little girls were brutally raped and mutilated. When I say mutilated, people, I mean, things were cut off that of women that should not be cut off. Um, brutally, pelvises were busted, um, legs broken, we're talking women and children and the elderly. This is what Hamas is about. This is what they want for all of us, for all of USA. They want to fucking fuck us dead, basically. It's a weird way to put it. Listen, if you guys think that all of a sudden, all these migrants and everybody's just going to disappear and go back home. And no, man, they came here for a reason. Um, and anybody that is pro Hamas and doing the whole protesting for Palestine and all this, you're, all you are is fucking evil. Okay. And like I said before, everybody, this is a war between good and evil now. This is beyond, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter or trans this or that this is down to good versus fucking evil period because you can see it you've never seen this shit 
out in New York streets, Philadelphia streets, Los Angeles street, all the, all, all major city streets, thousands and thousands of people yelling from the river to the sea, kill the Jews, gas the Jews. Think fucking about that for a minute. Pause the show. Take a breath. Say, holy shit. I'm not making any of this up, people. And there's people in our own government who are chanting the same things. Goes back to things I would thought I'd never see before in my in my lifetime. This is one of them. Holocaust number two here on US soil? Hate speech? Kill the Jews? Wipe what? Now, I don't know who you believe in or if you don't believe or whatnot, but man, either way, this is fucking evil ass shit. And they're right here. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And they're banging on your door and they're saying, hey, we're coming in to kill you because you don't believe in what we believe in. It's the way they're trying to set it up for you, people. You know, they just had to finally... uh, I don't know if if Trump is going to be able to get this fixed because we got a year left. We got a year left to go um, before he gets in office. And I'm telling you, I will. I'm mark my words. Rewind this a million times. This next year will be one of the most hardest, bizarre. Shit on a shingle shit year you've ever seen. So all that, you know, not to be a fucking bear of shit on your parade, but your New Year's revolu- res- resolutions should be for peace and, and love and harmony because that's the only thing anybody should be saying at this time. Because this next year, people, is going to be so fucking ugly. And I do not want any of my fucking so-called friends going, I didn't know this was going to happen. I swear you come to me with, I didn't know. And you guys fucking, I will slap you. (laughs) I will slap you. Um, no, I won't slap you, but be, be mentally prepared. Be also prepared in your household, but be mentally prepared. You know, don't, I hate people when I tell them what's going to happen. And then they go, then they're shocked by it. And then they have this panic. You know, that panic when you're like, hey, man, you better. It, it could be something simple like, hey, if you miss uh, one more day of work, they're going to fire you, Johnny. And Johnny's like, nah, man, it'd be cool. I'm telling you, they're going to fire you. I know for a fact they're going to fire you. Johnny misses that next day of work, comes back to you and goes, I can't believe it. They fired me. No shit, you moron. I told you. Don't be that guy. Don't be a Johnny who just uh, ignores the fucking truth and ignores what's coming. Be prepared because it's not going to get easy. Nope. Enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your New Year's. And shit's going to start rolling fast. You got all that shit going on. Um. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you remember, Gunner, but remember my idea about flooding the tunnels? Guess what Netanyahu said they're going to do? <laughs> Did I say it? Say it wrong. Netanyahu. There. Yeah. Same thing I said. Netanyahu. Anyway, he said today we're going to flood the tunnels with seawater. He saw the Jambi show is all I'm going to say. He saw it. He said, he said, that's a fucking great idea. And I don't know. Hey, how, how else did they come up with it? Because I think that was an easy idea way back. But, see, it took some time because they didn't see the show. And then they're like, oh, shit. Fuck. Jambi's a genius. <laughs> hey, hey, anytime, Israel, if you need my help, I back you. That's right, people. I back my Jewish brothers and sisters. Always, always, always. Um, They're doing all this weird shit with TikTok. Why is it a national security problem? It's fucking... Well, yeah, but 
Here's the thing. What? Oh, because they. I, all I understand about it is they're influencing us through TikTok. Well, that's nice. They own fucking half the equipment in, in here also. <laughs> no, it's just weird. It's like, I don't know. That shit doesn't bother me. Um, yeah. Do you see Joe Biden the other day? He was, uh, he was joking on a tour about the launch codes. That's, you know, when your uncle is, shouldn't be allowed to barbecue anymore. He's a little off. That's Joe Biden. He's just joking about launch codes. <laughs> He's probably like, okay, the code is 527. Ah, you got to guess the last one. <laughs> Fucking psycho bastard. It's going to get us all killed. Um, yeah, so he's going full retard. Biden's gone full retard. Never going full retard. Um, yeah, he's a cognitive wreck. I mean, it's sad that Jill pushes him out there. I thought she was a doctor. A doctor of these nuts. Um, you know, I'm just going to run through who I back, just so it's clear. Clear to all you out there, fans, non-fans, uh, government officials that want me whacked. Speaking of, they don't whack nobody no more. In, uh, you know the mafia used to whack people? Yeah, there's some idiots in Congress and stuff. that No, no mafia doesn't want to whack people no more. I'm not going to name names, but it's a forgotten, <laughs> it's a forgotten trade. <laughs> you should bring back. So anyway, of course, I back my faith. Jesus, Lord. Back Trump. Uh, big lover of Fox News. Uh, if you don't watch Fox News and or the Jambi show or uh, Joe Rogan or people that know what the fuck they're talking about, then just don't get a TV because you're stupid. <laughs> That's all I can say. Don't watch anything. Go fucking rake your leaves. Because if you're not going to watch good content, then just don't watch. Because you're getting lied to. Trying to save you from the lies, man. It's all lies. Um, I back Israel, of course. Jewish community here and abroad. I back the border wall. Love me some border wall because I love me some Trump. So let's get that motherfucker up. And then somehow it's like a, we need a big scooper. <laughs> Scoop him back over. The, you know, you ever pick up dog shit in the backyard? No one's looking. And you just fucking fling it over the fence and <laughs> out of your yard anyway. Um, yeah, we just, just toss him back over that wall somehow. I don't know. I'm back. Uh, love me some Elon Musk. I think the guy's brilliant and he is a, a truthful, um, good dude. He's a good dude. And we need more good dudes. Of course. I mean, this is guns, all guns. Yes. Because. Guns don't kill people. It's the idiots who go full jambi, retard. They kill people. Okay, I'm sorry you never had a date in your life and you've been yanking at your pecker looking at porn and no one's going to date you because you're fugly. That does not mean you go get your daddy's gun, go to a mall and shoot people up. That's some mental shit you got to fix yourself. <laughs> okay? Uh like I said before, I can get a samurai sword, super sharp, go into a building and lop heads off until they stop me. Probably get more than a gun would. Would I ever do that? Of course not. I'm a fucking good American and not a psychopath killer. But my point is, anything can kill people, man. It's a person. So I'm for guns. Everybody, right to conceal, all that shit. Fook, yes. Fook me? No, fook you. She's my sister. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, never thought I'd see this type of hate. Ever. Ever. I thought I'd have to join the military, go overseas to see that kind of hate. But no. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know that uh china's buying up land you know what they're i've mentioned this before they're buying up land and they're uh they they just got busted i forget where but uh growing marijuana and from what they're saying is the cartel is trying to buy up land to grow weed or 
the Chinese are trying to buy up land to grow weed to work with the cartel with fentanyl on the weed and fit. Basically, everyone's trying to kill us, and Bill Gates is their leader. Fuck, fuck Bill Gates, rich asshole. He uh he just bought um, apple cider vinegar and changed the whole fucking recipe. Tell me that shit ain't weird. You know why? Because all Bill Gates is trying to do is eliminate people. That's all he wants. He's a super vaccinator guy and all that. So, you know, like I said, the mafia used to do things. <laughs> to idiots. All right. Um, I don't know. The demons loose, people. Devils running rampant across this land and other lands and... Nobody seems to give two shits on the left because they're part of it. Um, Henry Kissinger died. 100 years old. He did some good shit. Worked with Nixon and uh, um, good man. Good, uh, great on foreign affairs. So, uh, hey, 100 years old, man. If I, I told Chrissy, if I make it to 70, I'm drinking again. Because... <laughs> uh, why not? I made it to 70, right? Miracle. Um, I don't know. You got in entertainment news, same old shit. Um, Will Smith and Jada had an interview last week. Again, why? Is she, first of all, if you are a Will Smith fan still, then just stay with Will. Go live with Will and have gay sex. So, Jada... Says she's never leaving Will. Uh, ever. And the relationship is fine. You know why, Will? Because you're an idiot. And she goes off and fucks all your friends and everybody she wants to. And you don't care. Because you are secretly living a gay lifestyle. So she lets you fuck your dudes. And she fucks whoever she wants. And it's a convenience. Marriage of a convenience. Why don't you just come out. And tell everybody what it is that is letting your bald-headed little weirdo bride fucking burp, burp, burp all over the place. Because okay, we all know. Will, you're gay. Okay? Jada is a whore. A bald-headed whore biatch. That's that. Let's move on. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You know, they keep popping up in the news. You know, like Hillary Clinton. They should all get a boat and, hey, they all should move to Epstein Island. They've already been there. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, there's a... <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm just going to say, in closing, like I'm in, uh, in closing today. Now, I just want to say, uh, God bless everybody. Um, keep your eyes open, be diligent, just love your family and get prepared. Okay. Get prepared and always stay jambi. Love you. Peace out. My music's late. I don't know what to do with my hands. There it is. That's a, oh, I didn't do my red button moment.